doing this, and I'm going to put, um, that was number one tape in a video, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to put stay at in travel, so probably nobody will even read it. And what good is it going to do me if I'm dead or brain dead or et cetera? Uh, so they've, they're setting me up where, uh, because nobody's going to touch it, I've tried to get attorneys, and they will up and leave town. Boswick was one of them here with uh, Legal Aid, and nobody Legal Aid's supposed to help anybody. They Xerox the stuff and then leave town. <clears throat> so um, uh, we'll want to add to this because I'm allergic to chemicals in my um, uh, allergy. I can hardly talk. Um, is used against me. That's how they run me. I was kidnapped and brought to Bolton, Alabama in 41. And I'm going to skip the other. I just put it on the other uh, video. And uh, I know how I'm feeling. And I know that whatever they're pumping in here will kill me or make me brain dead. So, and um, I will say this. I started to say this. I ran into So if you just, somebody's picking it up. What good does it do you if you're dead? Uh, I put all this on video and Facebook, and it's done me no good whatsoever. When the law sanctions that they're telling them to do it, and the people don't have to do it, they have uh, options. They have no right to assault me with chemicals or anything else and kill me. Uh, my immune system attacks itself when I'm in close quarters or forced to inhale toxic fumes. Um, and over time, it kills you or if you, okay, you can stop and think about kids that go out and snort things and what happens to them. Well, I'm the opposite. I'm fi uh, fighting to try to live another day, hoping this will be over and, and uh, go before a court of law. Um, anyway, uh, I went out last night, the fumes that they well, this is the maintenance. He lives in the back of me. So he's doing what he's told. Um, anyway, when it, it was bad, it was a different, and I can tell the difference. And uh, <laughs> this is bad, bad, and how you feel. But I uh, went out to get groceries with a young fella that uh, takes me out and helps me with uh, putting them in the car and bringing them back his car and bringing them back and putting them inside this room. Last night, when I tried to get back in his car, my left leg just went paralyzed. The bones, everything. everything. Um, that's hiccuping, by the way. I'm sitting here and uh, it's hell in here. It's cold outside. I can't go. Anyway, so you see how this leaves me babbling and uh, uh, what someone can say if they want to. It doesn't matter all the background you try to lead, uh, tell. So I'm going to get off of here, and it's done me no good to get on YouTube or Facebook or anything. Uh, but back to the grocery store last night, which I'll have to leave, the groceries and the rent I've lost. This is the way they've done me in the past. You pay a month's rent, and you're forced to leave. And nobody will touch it. So last night at the grocery store, I tried to get back in the car. My left leg was just totally straight. I couldn't, the bones, it's from the fumes. It's never been, there's a few times it's been similar because of the fumes. Uh, it causes mass inflammation, and the bones, it's just like they're crumbling. You can sound, hear them crack. Um, but I couldn't even get in the car. I had to sit there. My leg wouldn't go in. It wouldn't bend. It wouldn't do anything. It was just totally paralyzed. I couldn't get it up to get bend it to straighten it or anything. So um, that's just part of it. So uh, I will say this, and I know that it'll probably backfire on me, but I wrote about mind control murders. Uh, Larry Flint was shot the person programmed the shooting in Lawrenceville while I was doing the medical malpractice book about Larry McDonald and Congressman Doctor and the murders at Piedmont Hospital. The person that shot Larry Flint and killed his attorney in Lawrenceville, I was in Marietta, Georgia, was programmed. Um, 
so you can go to mind control and all that. So that's what I started telling, and then I found out that I'd been kidnapped in um, 1983, and I started telling them about that and trying to get something done about it. Well, obviously, nothing good came of it. Um, the people have gotten wealthy. These people that own all this have certainly gotten wealthy. Uh, the land and everything is worth a bloody fortune they've acquired and accumulated, and I was told in 95 when they were going to come in, I'd paid a month's rent. This is a family, and it's extended. They're from India. But it's not any different. I've tried to leave, and it's law enforcement that's involved in it. And everybody has something to hide, so that's you got the idea. They, You wash my hand, I wash yours type thing. They'll drop charges to get their participation, and they have something on them or their kids. So... Um, and it's really done me no, no good. I'm going to not go into this. I, the reason I mentioned the mind control murders, uh, the Virginia Tech here next to me at Blacksburg, I'm just going to mention the one, the mass shootings, April the 16th of 07, was mind control. And there's been a lot of them there. Um, it, it can be proven, and some at Charlottesville. I want to mention this one, and it probably won't be her. Um, this is where they program a person and they go out and rape or abduct and kill, and you can do it in mass. You, they can even program armies now. They have been able to for a long time. MK Ultra, or whatever name you want to pin on it, it's American government project. Um, so, um, you know, there's no need to pursue putting it on here. I mean, if I even live to get out of here. But I wanted to mention the one at Charlottesville, the Morgan Harrington, and uh, they, they've linked it uh, to the Hannah Graham, who's English. She was a student at uh, University of Virginia. But these can totally be proven that it was mind control. Alexis Murphy, Morgan Harrington, you got to get it into a court of law that's willing to sit there and listen. They go on forensic DNA. Well, you can get DNA in this one, too, and bring it in. But it's done through patterns that will can prove it. But the point is, Alexis Murphy's, um, they've got the one guy here, Matthews, Jesse Matthews, is supposed to have committed those, the two of them. They haven't connected him back to Alexis Murphy. I don't know that he did, but it's possible. But Alexis, it's mind control that links it in patterns. But Alexis Murphy, uh, Randy Taylor's been tried and convicted, and they haven't found her body. And um, the only thing I'm going to say, and it probably because I have no way of knowing, they're doing uh, sent the body to, um, they don't know who it is, if it's male or female, it was just found. August the 4th, uh, I'm sorry, she went missing, Alexis did on August the 4th of last year. Uh, they've just found, this would be October the 4th, they found a body off the interstate. Now, I'm probably jumping at something that won't be her, but it was found, Salem, it's where it was found, and it's decomposed, and I have no idea, and so I'm, until, but it's the date and timing on it. Um, so unless you hear this laid out in a court where the attorney is knowledgeable and, and you sit and listen to it, um, I'll be dead, or worse, I'll be tortured to death for what time I have left, and this whole thing will go, um, well, I've told it. That's all I can do. I don't even know where my sons are or what's being done to them, but, um, these are bullies. People have no right to hurt me. I pay rent to get gas. If this was uh, a German doing this or anybody else but the Americans doing it, and the people from India reminded me, I don't want to show my, this more, I'm going to show my face, reminded me that if they're citizens here now, they have to do what the Americans tell them to do. And this is me, Margaret Ann Windsor, kidnapped and brought here in 41 and given the name of a dead twin, Peggy Ann Simpson, and I married a Childers.
both twins were dead, and I put it all on videos and YouTube, and 